Hello guys, Knowledge Capsule yet again. And of course, today I want to quickly take a look at uh, basically uh, FUTA admission procedure, okay? And of course, before we begin, do not forget to like this video. Liking the video will make other students who are applying or who have applied or who are thinking of applying to the school, all right, to get access to this information. It's very, very expedient that they do, all right, because all of this information will help them to know how serious they should be. In terms of their jam and of course in terms of their old level work uh, results okay so please do not forget to like do not forget to share this video to your friends your, your loved ones okay we want to attend our uh, footer with you and do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscription is free just for you to get notification whenever we release a new video all right and of course do not forget to what to drop comments in the comment section and of course we'll be there to attend to it so let us begin now footer first of all it is expedient to know that FUTA does not write a post screening exam. Before now, at least they do, but for some time now, they have not been writing and want to assume, okay, that what they will not what write also, okay? So FUTA does not write any post screening exam, okay, after what the main jam exam, okay? So, but an online screening is done and all you need to do is to submit your jam score, documents like your jam score and your O-level results. That is why it is expedient that you must upload your O-level result on the jam portal, okay? So that they can use it to work, to, 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 to rate your performance, okay? And know how the world grade you for what for admission, okay? And of course, uh, based on your performance, you will know whether you get admission or not, okay? But by God's grace, I pray that as you are watching this, you definitely get your hard desires granted by God. All right, so let's quickly see eligibility to study in FUTA. Number one, candidates must have scored at least 180 in the UTME, okay? Must have scored at least 180 in the UTME, conducted by JAM, all right? So for Federal University of Technology Accurate, the minimum JAM score you should get is what? 180, that is the list. That means say if you get 179, you will not be considered by FUTA, all right? The list score you will have is what is 180. Now, direct entry candidates who selected FUTA as their first choice are also eligible, okay? So if you're a direct entry candidate and you chose FUTA as first choice, you are also eligible to work, to work, to study in the school. Also, candidates must have at least five credit passes, all right? So you must have five credit passes in your old level relevant to the chosen course, okay? Five O-level credits relevant to the course you have chosen, all right? So in not more than two sittings, all right? So that is what, what you need, okay? So for your O-level result, like your WIAC, your NECO, or your NAPTEP, all right? They are all accepted, okay? But you must have at least five O-level credit passes, okay? In uh, inclusive of English and mathematics if you want to study in full time. Now, O-level results must be uploaded on jam caps, okay? So you must also upload your results on jam caps. All of these are the requirements that you need if you want to study at Federal University of Technology, uh, correct, all right? So uh, quickly, the next part of this video, we will talk about how you calculate your aggregate for admission in Federal University of Technology, uh, correct. So uh, let us go to the board. Right, let us see how FUTA calculates the ads using their jam results and O level results together to calculate their total aggregate, and then we'll see uh, how we can compare it with the parameter cutoff mark for this year and see if what we are eligible or if we are going to get admitted into our particular course. Okay, let's go to the board and we'll be back in a moment. All right, welcome to the board. And quickly, we want to see how we can calculate our aggregate for FUTA, okay, Federal University of technology accurate footer all right so um first of all uh uh footer uses what a formula of 75 percent for utme and then uses 25 percent for o level okay so if you know this you will know peace okay so uh your uh, your aggregate okay comprises of 75 percent of what of your UTME score and then 25% of your O level of grades. Okay, that means that uh, as much as possible, score very high in your UTME, score very high in your JAM. Okay, the one you call JAM exam, it's called UTME exam. Okay, score very high in your UTME and then score have very, very good grades in your O level and you'll be good to go. Now, let's quickly talk about the O-level grading, first of all, okay? So, if you have A1 in any of your subjects, so five of your relevant subjects are considered, 
okay five of your relevant subjects are considered okay so if you have a one is 80 points Okay, if you have what, after A1 is B2 or B, after B2, uh, if you have B2 rather, right, you have 72 points. If you have B3, okay, the difference between A1 and B2 is what is 8, okay? But the difference between B2 and B3 is just 5, okay? So if you have B3, it's 67. If you have what, C4 uh, is what, uh, you, you subtract 5 also, it will be what, 62. If you have C5, if you subtract 5 also, you have 57. If you have C6, subtract 5, you are going to have what, 52. Okay? So, this is how what the O-level what points are calculated. Okay? So, if you have what A1, all right, you are going to have 80 points. Okay? If you have B2, you're going to have 72 points. Have B3, 67. Have C4, 62. C5, 57. And C6, 52. Also, that means that if you have E8, Okay, or you have what F9, or if you have D7, okay, all of this will not be considered at all. Okay, it will not add to your O level grading. So if you have D7, it will not be considered. If you have F9, if you have E8, the least result you can have for your O level for footer admission must be what C, okay, it must be what a credit, okay, that is what either C4, C5, or C6, okay, but if you want to hold your admission okay in the throat and say i must get you whether you like them or not okay you must ensure that what you blast your what your own level result as well as your jam result okay so we're already aware that what that the old level takes what just 25 percent so what do we do if mr akpangolo for example mr akpangolo my favorite G, okay? Akpangolo, no Akpangolo. Okay, if Mr. Akpangolo, my favorite G, okay, has what? Let's say uh, in this result has 1A1, uh, has B2, uh, B2, uh, C5, and C6, for example. Okay, as his five, what? As his what? Results in five subjects that are relevant to the course he wants to study. Okay, A1, B2, B2, C5, C6. What do we do? Okay, what to simply do is to take the average of this course, okay, and then ratio it to what to 25%. Take the average of this course and ratio it to 25%. If you want to take the average, A1 is what is 80, that is what 80, then plus what now? B2 is what 72. Is he had another B2 plus 72? He has C5. C5 is what? 57. Then he has C6. Okay, C6 is what? It's 52. Okay, so if we add this together, let us quickly add it. Okay, using the calculator as 80 plus 72 plus 72 plus 57 plus 52. Okay, a total of 333. Okay, all right. So you take the average. So average is what? The total score divided by the number of scores, isn't it? So I'm going to have 333. That is what? 333 divided by 5. That would be the average, okay? So because it's 5 subjects, total is 333. We're taking the average. 333 divided by 5. Divided by 5, I'm going to have 66. .6, okay, all right, so uh, its average is 66.6. So I'm going to take 25% of this result later, okay? So now let us finish with everything that has to do with O level. Since we already know that 25% is for O level, okay, it means that 25% of this score would be is great for what is what is called or is point for the O level part, all right? So 25% of 66.6, okay, that means 25. 25 times 66.6 divided by 100. Okay, so times 25. Okay, divided by 100. So I want to have what? 16. 16 point what now? 65. So we had what? A total for 16.65 points from the O level side. Out of a total of 25. Okay, it has what? 16.65. So what did we do? All right, we know what the grades culminate to. All right. All right, so it has A1, A B2, B2, C5, C6. Okay, A1 is 80 plus 72, B2 plus 72. Again, B2 plus 57, C5 plus 52, C6. That's what gives us 333. And we took the average because there are five subjects, okay, divided by five to get this. So because 25% is for O level. That's what culminates to what to the O level side of what of the aggregate. Okay, so now take took twenty five percent of sixty six point six to give us this. So let us keep this on the side. Okay, let's say Mr. Akpangolo now. Apart from this result in his jam, 
Okay, in his jam what exam he had what a score of let us say 270. Okay, in blast jam, okay, blast jam in scores 270. So, how do we now calculate what is aggregate for the UTME side? Okay, for the UTME side, okay, it's called 270. Okay, I know that what UTME comprises of what 75% of the total aggregate score. Okay, so that means he had what 270 out of a total of how many? What is the total possible you can get for what? For your jam is 400. So I got out 270 divided by 400, okay? Then times what? Times 75, okay? So now I'm going to have zero. Let us just calculator. So I'm going to have what? Uh, 270 times 75, okay? Divided by 400, okay? So I'm going to have what? Uh, 50.625, all right? Hope you understand what you did here, okay? He scored 270 out of 400. And we know that what? That UTME comprises of 75%, okay, of the total aggregate score. So that's how I would say 270 divided by 400 at the score, then times 75, all right? So we are ratioing it to what? To 75%. That now gives us what? 50.625. So to now find your total aggregate score as a footer candidate, total aggregate score now, total aggregate score will be what now? 50.625. Two five then plus what sixteen point what six five okay what is our result let's add that so I'm going to have fifty plus plus sixteen point six five that will give us what sixty seven point what now two seven five so this will be what the aggregate for what for that student now after getting your aggregates okay what you need to do now is do now what check your department and see the Aggregate cutoff to see the departmental cutoff mark for the particular course that you choose. If this score is above that departmental cutoff mark, you are safe. If this score is just the same as the, as the departmental cutoff mark, you are safe. But if this score is below the departmental cutoff mark, it will not be below. You will get above by God's grace. Okay, so this is how you calculate what your aggregate was score. So let us uh, go back to the board. And then we'll round up. Thank you. All right, welcome back. I'm sure by now you already know how to calculate your aggregate for admission. Okay, if you do not understand any part of it, just ensure you drop what a comment, okay, and we'll attend to it. But before that, do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to keep sharing, all right, because we are here right by you to make everything right for you, all right. See you in the next one.